I'm Steve Villachica. I'm an associate professor of instructional and performance technology at Boise State University. My first exposure to HPT was in 1987. I'm a novice instructional designer. I'd left a job at a now defunct defense contractor creating computer-based training. And Deborah Stone introduced me to this thing called human performance technology. Uh, it was the start of a 20-year working relationship and someone who's still my friend and colleague. My biggest influences have been, and this was a hard question for me to answer, it's this society, ISPI. This is my professional home. This is my community of practice. This is where I go when I am looking for smart people who can talk to my students. This is where I go when I am looking for people who have very deep expertise in areas that I'm not as strong in. These are people who are my friends and colleagues. These are people that I write papers with. These are people that I point to, people, others who are interested in learning more about this field. And I say, this is where you find these folks. These are the folks who have produced the readings that I ask my students to read. And these are the folks who also respond to questions my students have about these products. This is the place where my field happens. Another HPT project I've been involved with is all of them. I'm really lucky. I live in the best of all possible worlds where I'm still a member of DLS Group's Strategic Advisory Board. And that lets me keep my finger in some of the consulting parts of this business. And I've been lucky enough to work in areas ranging from um, national security to pharmaceutical sales to detectives to people who regulate securities firms and all sorts of others I, I, can't, talk, I can't remember at the moment. Um, now I do most of my HPT work with my students and acting in the background as a consultant supporting their work. They own the project. They work with a real client. Uh, I'm a consultative resource. And it's been fun for me to see my footprint in the field going to places that I hadn't thought about. I have student teams who've done work with the Humane Society teaching people how to walk shelter dogs because a dog that's been caged in the kennel is not going to walk like Fluffy at home. Uh, I had students working with the National Interagency Fire Center, and they're the people who fight wildland forest fires. They have a very cantankerous two-cycle pump. Obviously, any problem associated with a cantankerous two-cycle pump uh, at first blush would be, get a different pump to put water on the fire. Uh, that takes acts of Congress, and they're stuck with these, and they've been stuck with them for a long time. They created training teaching people how to set these up. They created training showing how to operate them. They created a um, assessment that's authentic. It's job-based, the stuff we want. And the assessment is so good that the client's using it as the basis of a level three evaluation. Their client's boss's boss's boss, several layers higher, came by to talk with us at the College of Engineering at Boise State and we mentioned that our students had done this work and we gave them the job aid uh, the student team created. The client left with the job aid. Joe Harless tells us that there's no greater compliment than the asked for or walked away with job aid and it's nice seeing work at this level. Uh, this is the place where I recruit a lot of student projects and this is the place where we ask our students to consider contributing to the, to the field and becoming part of this community of practice. My 32nd elevator pitch for HPT. I work with people and organizations to improve performance. I'm part diagnostician. I'm part architect. I help others in the organization perform like their best. What's keeping you up at night? My current or future focus for learning and doing more in HPT is two-part. As a teacher, 
I'm lucky because I get to try out my understanding of our research or theory or practice on students. And they challenge me, they ask questions, they push back. I help them reach career goals and I learn new things about the field I thought I'd never know before. And I'm getting to now work in areas I never thought I'd be able to. I'm also doing research in the field. Uh, I've been lucky enough to partner with my colleagues at Boise State and we've done research looking at the expectations of the people who employ entry-level instructional designers and their overall satisfaction with their efforts. I've um, worked with uh, other faculty colleagues to identify best practices that training departments can use in troubled times and it's in one sense a, a review of the literature supporting a manifesto for performance-based training approaches where training is just one of the tricks in our larger performance improvement toolkit. We're going to be conducting another study in the fall where we're going to practicing HPT professionals and asking them how they're virtually teaming now. We're being asked to include a lot of team-based components in the things that we create for our clients. We don't know a lot about how we're doing it uh, ourselves. I've been part of a NSF grant looking at to uh, bringing in research-based instructional practices in problem-based learning, project-based learning, and the like, with the idea of gaining larger scale faculty adoption of these practices in a university environment. And we're going back to uh, another aspect of ISPI, the change documentation, and how you affect culture change in organizations, especially because university environments are a little different than anybody else's. I just got out of another ISPI event and uh, talking with people about how to set up other studies and I feel lucky because I'm a kid in a candy store with all these opportunities and I get to live in the best of all possible worlds because I have part of my, I have one foot in the consulting space and one foot in the academic space and it's all been attributable to this organization and my involvement in it now for over 20 years. Thank you.